those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific Rebellion. reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. <sighs> I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing me. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelia! Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Revelia. This well looks familiar. Sebastian! I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. <laughs> Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. 
It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Revelio. Lumos. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn Lumos. about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Revelio. Journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall. As though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. a triptych here. Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. 
Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Sure, why she'd fuss so much. It was only one page in the book. Rebellion. Oh, now the corner of the book. <laughs> Galleons and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls to let me know that he's all right. 
I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Could this be Mr. Oakes's campsite? Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? That was meant for me. I've been fighting since before you were born. Easily Was that your best? Not quite. Pity, not quite. Your spells glance off of me. You can't stop us. Enough of this. Much too slow. Not enough. But there's a surrender now. Here. You only have Ranrock to blame. Revelia. Revelia. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Mr. Oakes's trade journal.
Revelia. It's been a bit grim, I won't deny, but the tides will turn from... I tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection, Char. I heard something. Descender! Thought we'd forget about it. You're the little... Just how many witches of wizards have you finished? You're a slippery little... I did say I was sorry. And you also went on to do the exact same thing. I wouldn't think Black would mind someone for Well, I'd appreciate it not happening again. I won't tell anyone. Uh. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Really Perhaps I'll make Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. Be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Here it is, the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Revelio. Nice to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia 
said she was. Revenia.
Pavilion. Rebellion. Confringo! Flipendo! Which reset everything. Good to know.
Bevelio. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. 
switch reset everything. Good to know. the last of them. Seems I was a match for her. That wasn't too hard. I wonder what's next. Rebellion. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! 